Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to put together the Nerf Ultra 1, which is a gun that was developed uh, in 2020. So anyway, it will come with 25 bullets, which I have already put in these things. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the gun thing and you're going to slide them onto this black thing. So you see that those things, uh, those, like that things that sticks out, will go uh, in those caps there and all that. So anyway, you want to line them up so they fit. And then you just got to push it in like that. So once you've done one, oh, I did not do that well. Okay. Anyway, once you put one in, make sure it didn't go over the line. That was, hang on, sorry. Uh, make sure it doesn't go over this line there, the little bump. That was my problem. That's why it didn't work. So anyway, once you put it in, just turn it around a bit so it's easy to put the next one in. At this time, on the that bit that you just put in, there's this like hole there, that line. And on the one that you're about to put in, it that goes in there. So you want to line it up like... So, and then, like, it's a bit hard to see actually, but anyway, so you line this bit up, uh, that bit up with the hole, the little gap bit, there, above my finger, and that should fit in quite nicely. Make sure the other bits are also lined up with those holes. But anyway, it should be pretty good. And once you've done two, like that, spin it around. And then put in the last one by filling them up with both the holes. Like that. And then, yeah. So anyway, once you do that, you gotta undo that bit. This. Okay, so then you want to put in C sized batteries. I've already put them in. Make sure that they're new because if they're not. The gun will shoot not far at all. And if it does, don't worry. All you gotta do is buy new batteries because it might be faulty or something. So, yeah. Screw it back up because this. Hang on. So, uh, the screw will feel quite loose against the screwdriver. So when it starts to be 
like you'll notice the difference it'll get tough soon enough like a harder to put in deeper and then there like i just got up to it then you just stop and do the other one And also make sure you put the batteries in the right way or it just won't shoot. Okay, so anyway, what you gotta do, this trigger right there, that's called the rev trigger, and you should hear a noise like this when you hold it up. Of course it is a motorized gun. And then what you do is you oh I, one more thing. These make sure that the bullets are pushed a bit below the rim there. Otherwise, it won't shoot that well. So anyway, you hold it, and then you pull the trigger, and then you can rapid fire, but if you don't notice it, when you press the trigger, the noise drops down a bit, and the bullets will fire a bit slower. So usually what I do is I just wait a bit like this, and fire about one bit less than every second. Uh, but if you want, you can rapid fire it, but it won't shoot that far. I mean, it would probably shoot like 10 to 15 meters. But if you wait like this, it'll shoot 25 meters. So, yeah, I do recommend this gun. I, you, I bought it off, off Amazon and it's $69. I know that seems pretty expensive, but the, the motor and stuff. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's how much it costs. And it is quite a fun gun. If you notice that some bullets aren't coming out, like these, uh, it might just be a problem with the spot they're in. Like, for example, that bit was pretty tight. And I would only really get this gun if you have, like, hands, like, if you're maybe, like, 15 or under or something like that. Because if your hand's too big, it won't fit. And also, sometimes this is your arm might get in the way of the barrel and it might spin it but eh, usually you put your hand there and then you just fire it if you can't like i guess if you're like six or seven or something it'd be a bit hard to carry and there's not really a point in buying it and i'd probably buy a lighter gun but anyway once it's working and if you can hold it right and if everything fits it's a pretty fun blaster so if you have spare bullets and you like a pick a bullet off the ground you don't have time to put it in you just put it here and hold it there and then let's say you have a gap take the bullets out and you just put it in one of the things and then yeah uh by the way these bullets are a bit bigger than the usual nerf bullets and they're made out of this different material a bit like it's basically a harder foam or something like that and there's no gap in the middle and it has these things at the back that basically keep it in the air longer I'd say and so yeah and the tip is a well, pretty big and softish to let it fly further and roundish so yeah and yeah but uh if you're holding it up like that it will fly quite quickly but people have a problem with the accuracy but that's only because Basically, the lower the bullet is that it gives, the lower it's going to shoot, the not as far it's going to shoot. So, yeah. So, basically, if you fire at a wall and then hold it in the exact same position, but you don't wait for the wall to go as loud, it won't hit the same spot. So, that's why people say it's not accurate. But if the wall and the noise is exactly the same and you hold it until it's not getting any louder and fire, it should be roughly like that within each bullet. So, yeah, I, I reckon you should buy it if you're into Nerf guns, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See ya.